Hello there Pokemon fans, welcome to another Playscape Games video and today we're looking at another old school complete set of Pokemon trading cards and this time uh, it's a personal fan favorite, it's a personal favorite of mine but also um, these have been gaining a lot of attention over the past few years um, very retro, very nostalgic so I thought I'd show you guys a complete reverse hollow set of EX Team Rockets Returns. So I'm just moving my little platform out of the way so I can get the cards down and show you guys closer of them. So EX Team Rockets Returns, where to start? This this set, just so much nostalgia, uh, so much love for this set in this, um, yeah. So e EX Team Rockets Returns, so you saw that I had the Arabian Sapphire cards recently. Um, EX Team Rocket Returns was released about a year later, November 8, 2004 there was 111 cards so about average for the time and yeah this was long long released so about a year and a bit after um ex ruby and sapphire came out but they didn't feature any gen 3 pokemon so again more nostalgia for people like me who grew up with the original pokemon and uh the team rocket and the anime and stuff like that and it featured these dark Pokemon. So I just thought I'd go through go through the set and uh, tell you a bit more about it. So these are all reverse hollows. And as you can tell, um, you can see the energy symbols in the background there. So really cool. So lots of dark and uh, all sorts of cool energies there. It's really awesome. And um, what you might notice from here is that they all look like pre-release promos so back then uh the reverse hollows so as, as you've seen in the ruby and sapphire the reverse hollows had all the shine in the sort of center of the body like where the cards are like where we get our reverse hollows now yeah ex team rockets returns and the next couple of sets after that it w went on for a while actually um all of the reverse hollows went on to have the set logo so next to the, in the bottom right hand corner there the set logo of the set was actually put in the uh, corner and th this counts as the reverse hollows and um, as I can show you uh, hmm, okay it's getting confused with another fact but yeah so and also all of these reverse hollows they would also have um, at least the reverse hollow rares anyway they would have the text in gold as well and the HP HP in gold at the top there as you can see so that's really cool so I'll slowly start going through these because I've just been showing you these same three cards for a while now. So we've got the, on the camera focus, there we go. So we've got the Sumeril and then the Dark Pokemon. So Dark Pokemon obviously were first introduced in the uh, Team Rocket set, original Wizards of the Coast set in, I'd like to say 2000. It was around about that time. And yeah, these Dark Pokemon... Um, they also, as well as being dark Pokemon, they also had dual types. So this Octillery um, and all the other dark Pokemon are both water and dark type. And then the Mar Marowak is fighting in dark. So but I believe, I'm not 100% sure, this might be one of the first sets to introduce the dual types. We did get the Delta Species cards as well, which were very popular. But uh, yeah, those are really cool. And then, yeah, dark Pokemon. It's sort of, sort of, carrying, the theme of carrying the theme of Team Rocket. And uh, all of the dark Pokemon in the set, um, I believe, apart from maybe Steelix and I think one or two others, um, all dark Pokemon that were used in the original set, in the original Team Rocket set. So yeah, Steelix was definitely not in the original one because it wasn't a Gen 2 Pokemon. So I believe there was no dark Sand Slash. So yeah, and look at that dark Dragonite, it's so cool. It goes so well with the gold pattern. And yeah, all Gen 1 and Gen 2. Lots and lots of nostalgia here. An absolutely beautiful set. There's been a lot of hype recently. Oh yeah, two copies of Dark Tyranitar. So obviously it's a classic Dark Pokemon. That one being a Dark type and that one being a um, f fighting, fighting Dark type, which is really cool. And then, yeah, so we get into the regular rares. So we've got the Deli Bird. Some really cool artwork there on the, on the Furret. Baby Pokemon. So back then you could just uh, 
use the ability to evolve magma straight onto the magby and then you could heal the heal it up if it taking damage which is pretty cool mistrevious it's a really cool looking quagsire there not goes perfectly with the background and the blue of the card absolutely beautiful and the last of the rares the yanma and then we go into our uncommons so we got the dark r box obviously team rocket gotta have an r box or two in there <laughs> just looking at the sunset there's really nice dragonair two dragonairs because we've got the dragon arts usually quite popular so dragonair always has some beautiful artwork and i love the artwork on those dragonairs fluffy cool looking crowbat dark gyarados absolutely beautiful whenever i think of like Gyarados and Team Rockets always think when James got the uh, magic art from the St. Anne and then he kicks it in the water and the big Gyarados comes up and he kicks butt. He's so cool. Love, I love Gyarados in that, in that episode. Dark Houndoom. Lots and lots of Dark Pokemon. So they weren't just limited to the rares. They were also in the Uncommons as well. These are all Reverse Hollows, obviously. Uh, look at that at Houndoom. You can see the outline of the other hound even in the background it's very kind of like lion king sort of esque style love it and yeah it's quite funny how these were still referred to as reverse hollows even though hollow is still on the card so it's quite easy to confuse them with just like normal hollows or perhaps like pre-release promos and then we've obviously got the wheezing james's pokemon badass looking heracross uh yeah, shout out the cole heracross collector magma mantine so yeah, this is another one of the complete sets so I am selling on behalf of a good friend. Um, just wanted to show, show him off some of these cards. Obviously, have to have a Meowth. Um, you got like, so you can see in there, Rocket's Meowth. So it's one of the owner's cards. So that's obviously Team Rocket's Meowth. And then the Wabafet. Got to have a Wabafet. And then we're going into some more regular common, uncommon. So no dark, dark type Pokemon, Skiploon, Togepi. Cubone, awesome looking Dratini there, <laughs> classic pound 10 damage, that's it, <laughs> drowsy, let me go through these last, these last ones, we're going into our commons now with the horsey, <laughs> we got a handle biting that apple off in half, that's awesome, I love that, awesome looking coffin, Two Larvitars, because there's obviously two Pupitars. Speaking of magic art, the beautiful magic art there. Gorgeous artwork. I just love that what some of the, the reverse hollow, like the foil does on some of these cards. I mean, that magic art just pops so nicely. Meryl, Caught Onyx. Psyduck there, chilling at the beach. It's awesome. Radita. Two Raditas. A brace of rats. Centre it. Slugma, Spinarak, a swine. A herd of swine ups getting into trouble there. It's a cool looking whooper. And the last of the Pokemon, the Zubat. And then we go into the trainer card. So there's a very famous card in EX Team Rockets Returns I'll talk to you about in a moment. But see, we've got the copycat here, and I believe. This should be legal for play. I don't see why it wouldn't be. It's got the same card text. Um, it's definitely worth checking the Poker Gym website and making sure it's on the list of old cards that you can use in tournament decks. Pokemon Freeverse. Like, lots of use of the Team Rocket. Like on these trainer cards, you've got the Team Rocket R in the bottom there. And obviously, the Team Rocket logo is just the set logo. And then, obviously, Team Rocket R on the machines. Pow! Hand extension. Pretty cool. And then... The crowning glory of the set, the EX Team Rockets, I say crowning glory, the, the, the sort of a, sort of interesting card, the uh, reverse holo. So this admin was basically the same card as what people used in tournaments recently, the end card. Shuffle your hand into your deck and then draw the amount of prize cards you have left. Um, for old decks, people will still buy copies of these for somewhere in the region of $30 to $50. Depends on the condition of its reverse holo, so definitely look out for reverse and regular versions of Rockets Admin. It's a cool hideout card there. Lots and lots of awesome nostalgia on each on these trainer cards as well. 
<laughs> it's got the time machine there. It's got the um, oh god, we got Mudkip and oh, it's very late. I don't want to blank on that one. Not Primplop. No, I'll get back to that one. I'll get it back to you. Know, one. I know that's Torchic, and I know that's uh, Bulbasaur there on the Venture Bomb. That's really cool. Marsh Tomp. That's who that is. <laughs> Uh, dark Metal Energy, the Rocket Energy, the R Energy. That's cool. So if it's a uh, Dark Pokemon, it can be... It provides two Darkness Energy. That's really cool. And then we got into the awesome uh, EXs, which are the really like, big chase cards. Very hard to find. Quite expensive to get in good conditions. They're good to get PSA Grade 10s if you can get hold of them. They're, they're very collectible at the moment. And these are the first um, EX cards. So the extra card that I just described before. They're the first EX cards to be owners. So Rockets, Articuno EX, and then obviously now they've got Team or Ash Pikachu EX and all that stuff. These are the first EX cards to be owners. So we got the again more lot, lots more nostalgic Gen 1 action here. Beautiful Enzo. Hitmachan EX. Mewtwo. I think that's probably the most expensive card outside the gold stars. Uh Moltres, beautiful Moltres, Caesar, Caesar and Cypher next together, that's awesome, so you can, oh my goodness, so these are like the end rares, like the hard to find rares, but you needed the Rocket Cypher EX exactly to be able to evolve into the Caesar, so that would have been quite hard if you wanted to play that, um, play that deck, Sneasel, Team Rocket Snorlax, Sawson now, Suicune, beautiful Suicune. Last but not least, the three of the legendary trios, the Zapdos. And then the two uh these are there's 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 three cards that should go between these, but these are the two secret rares, the Charmeleon and the Here Comes Team Rocket. So that's a um reprint basically of the very similar to the other Here Come Team Rockets cards that we have. All the prize cards get turned up. It's a really cool effect. Classic Jesse and James pose there. And then the Charmeleon. So in the previous set there was a Charmander. And in the set after this there is a Charizard. So they put one one of each of the secrets in the sort of the three sets in a row. Which is pretty cool. But the Coup de Gras. The Gold Stars. I can't wait to show you guys these. And here they are. The crowning glory of the EX Ruby and Sapphire set, the Gold Star, Mudkip, Torchic and Trico, number 107, 108 and 109, so even though there are the secret rare uh, Here Comes Team Rockets and Charmeleon cards, these bad boys and girls are the real chase cards of the set, this is why EX Team Rockets Returns is such a premier set, and why... Um, it's very expensive to get a sealed box. Um, it's close to, I think, the price of a even a base set booster box nowadays to to get one of these. Um, so let's just take a very close look at these beautiful cards. So we got the Mudkip first. So these are the only Gen Three Pokemon in the entire set, and they appear as these super rare gold stars. I'm not 100% sure about the pool ratio, but I imagine they would have been not even one box guaranteed by box because of just how expensive they are and how rare they are. Um, so the Mudkip and all of the other gold stars that, we, that we're going to show you, they, um, so this is the first, first ever set, EX Team Rockets is the first set to feature the gold stars. And it's quite prominent, the gold stars, you can tell what they are, obviously you've got the gold symbol in the top left hand corner shows shows the fact they're a gold star they represent in the star flash so in the video games when you when you would ever find a shiny pokemon that's the kind of same as that so they are the alternate art sort of shiny pokemons as well these gold star pokemon and the mudkip um and all the other gold stars you can t they have a little overlapping so they sort of popping out of the frame which makes them even more rarer and cooler and yeah all of these gold stars, um, but these three in particular, they're between like in this condition. So they're all these were in really nice condition. I don't know if they're gem mint ten contenders, but they're in really nice condition. And I would say they're they're within the region of two to three hundred pounds. Um, if you get them PSA nine, they're probably about four to five hundred. PSA ten is very hard to find at over a thousand dollars. So. Definitely worth looking out for these uh, these cards. Super collectible, super awesome. 
and super rare. They started off the gold stars and they got all the famous ones, the gold star Rayquaza, the black Charizard and all those other beautiful cards, the Reggies. Um, yeah, I thought I'd show you these. So that is the EX Team Rockets return set. Um, let me know what you think of the set. Um, obviously, gold stars aside, what else is your favourite part of the set? Because um, there's a lot of cool cards in the set, the, the dark Pokemon, the trainers and all that. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think of EX Team Rockets Returns. Thank you very much, Pokemon fans, and I'll see you soon. Go to catch them all.